hello friends uh, today I am going to explain how we can use a command line data loader and the combination of and to backup a file or backup a data from Salesforce and upload it on your FTP server so I'm assuming uh, before going uh, on this tutorial you know the basics of command line data loader in Salesforce so uh, this is one of my article where I have explained uh, basics of command line data loader how to set up CLI how to generate a password and the key file and how we can extract some data here uh, so this is the article I have written uh, uh, long back so you, you can refer this complete article to know the basics of data loader and once uh, you have gone through this article uh, I would suggest to go to the another article also uh, which is uh, this one article this article and it says how we can use a command line data loader with the help of ant uh, in the in this article also I am going to use a combination of command line data loader and ant tool so basically what I am going to do here uh, is like uh, first I will create a property file so this is a process.config so this is basically a file which is going to be used by a data loader and here I'm explaining that what should be the SQL uh, to be used again a Salesforce and where data should, uh, should be saved in CSV file format uh, complete detail is on my blog so this is uh, this part is getting data from Salesforce and I have a config file here I am will not be exposing this file because it has my username and password once you have a config.properties and process.config I will be creating a build.xml if you have a little bit understanding about ant so you will understand that uh, in ant uh, build.xml is the main file which is used to invoke a different targets and processes so here I have created a small ant micro definition it says that I need to invoke data loader dot zar file and this is a basic so be, simply you can just copy paste this part only thing you have to make sure that a uh, path for data loader dot zar file is correct so this part will basically extract a data from Salesforce and uh, to extract a data this is a simple SQL so I am uh, extracting account data and only the ID column is going to be extracted and after extract it will be saved in this folder and name of file would be account export dot CSV file once I get this file from a command line data loader I would be using a ant tool or rather I will say ant FTP task so this is a, a uh, this task is supported by and and so there are some dependency so I have written a complete information and description that this script depends on external dependency and this dependency can be downloaded from this URL and once you download uh, so basically what file we are going to download is like uh, let me open here So I have downloaded a ZAR file and this is basically a ZAR file needed to support FTP tag. So basically what FTP will do, FTP will get uh, this file, whatever the local folder you have included. Value in local folder is coming from build.properties. This is a local folder. It says go in this directory and from this directory get every CSV file and copy this CSV file on FTP server and this is the server configuration server FTP server name then port of FTP username and then password so uh, let me open my demo FTP so if you can see here this is my FTP here and you can see this directory is empty now I will be executing my ant task here and this is main build.xml I have with me so this build.xml basically what says is this build.xml only have one target tag so simply if I write a command ant it will go to this target tag then it will first export account and this is a code for exporting account this is a micro definition once account is ex exported and a data is on uh, this folder we will use the FTP uh, tag and this FTP tag will be 
will back up a data from Salesforce. So let's try, give it a try. So here it is executing everything. It is logging on my Salesforce. Once it logged in, it will extract a data. And this is a folder. Now you can see export.csv file is created. It says build is successful. This file is created. If I go to my server, this is my FTP server. If I refresh it, I can see that CSV file is successfully exported or I will say successfully saved on my FTP server. So this is very basic and very simple uh, use of combination of AND and data loader. Now, as you can see, this is a command line, so we can even schedule it. So for example, you want to export a Salesforce data nightly and then export it on FTP server. You can use a Windows scheduler and you can create a command CMD file and the CMD file can have this command and this command will be executed nightly. Happy coding everyone. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to it. Thank you.